Hello, I'm Martin Brossman, and I want to talk about your new Pokin and connecting it online to all your friends, synchronizing the new information you have. The place to start is Pokin.com, which will bring up a screen like this, and then you want to go ahead and sign up. So you'll click Sign Up. If you'd like, you can play the video to give you more instruction, or click here to sign up. The stage is going to be one, sign up with the password and email. Click the little box, accepted. Then you're going to build your business card, and I'll talk about that by showing you my business card. Then you'll plug in and link your new device, and it's okay if you connected to some people before you did this. It'll have that data in there, and then confirmation that everything's set up and configured. I will not take it further because I've already signed up. Next, we're going to plug in the Pokin. So first, if you haven't figured it out, you separate the little head from the hands. And underneath there is a little plug that fits in your USB drive. I'm going to plug that in now. On your computer, a window will open up like this after you plug it into your USB drive. Or you'll have to go and look where your drives are and look for the new drive letter and double click on it. So since mine opened up, we'll start here. When I open this up, what shows up is a window, and what we're looking for is this little HTML or web page that's on the Pokin, and we'll double click on that. The icon will look different based on the browser you're using, and let's double click on it. Since I'm already signed in and have established the account and synced my Pokin before, it says the device is fully synced, please log in. So it's synced with this computer. And now we're on my dashboard. I went to a networking event today, so I have a number of new people. And there's some components of the dashboard. The main one you want to look at first is the area where you edit your card. And we'll go into that. And then the right is your dashboard. And don't be concerned if there's some people that you don't know. Because when they sell the Pokin, sometimes they add some of the people and contacts there to your timeline. You can delete those if you want. And then you scroll down and you'll find the list of all your contacts in there. You may have none in the beginning, or you may have a few that came with it. Then on the left-hand side, you'll see your Twitter feed if you've signed up and configured it that way. So let's look at the edit area here for your card. The way this works is you have these options for designing your card, and you drag these things over to here. So I've already established my email ad mailing address, but I removed it so I can demonstrate it here. So I'm going to click on the address line and bring it over to my card, which means now yours would show up as blank here, but mine of course has it because I put it in earlier. Then I'm going to put the zip code in. I want it on the same line, so I'm going to put it right there. And mine of course has my zip code because it was put in earlier. And then locality, Raleigh. Yours will be blank, so you'll be typing in your your area, like Raleigh in C, or where, wherever you live. And now you see my car. Now we go to the contact information, and we have different URLs and other addresses, and that's where you can add some new stuff. So, you know, let's see. I want to make sure to put my own web page on there, so we'll put the home page and I, I've got uh, uh, two home pages. One is the coaching support.com, which I already filled in, but you see it shows up there. And then I've got another website for the social media training, and I'm putting it there on my card. And if you had something else, you could put it there as well. Uh, down below are the kind of the networking sites, and you see I have my Facebook, which I dragged over to here to to this location and this is my photos and my Twitter I have two different Twitter accounts so I dragged both of them over here Plaxo LinkedIn and friend feed I'll add some more later but I'm just demonstrating this information and then make sure to save your card once it's saved we're back in the area and we'll scroll back up to the dashboard 
Now, I went to a networking event today. So there are a number of people who had new units and they hadn't registered, but they connected. So do you see it says unregistered unknown? These are new people who just bought their Pokin and they haven't sat down tonight to connect. And once they register their Pokin, it will show up on my dashboard, which is very exciting. Now here's someone I met today that I've known, but she just got a Pokin. So here's Becky. And when I click on it, it shows up and then I choose to accept or dis discard her card. So what if I connected to someone and then decided I didn't want to have them in here? I might choose discard. So I'm going to connect uh, with Becky and let her into my database and, and keep her here. Greg Heyer, he just got his Pokin and we'll double click on him. See, there's there it is. He's pending. And now I choose to accept him. And the timeline's nice because it has a general line of when you connected to these people and showing a little bit about them. So these are different. So if here we connected twice, so it shows up over time. And then down here is the list of all the people and uh, the last time it's been updated. So if any of them change their data, it will show up automatically on this dashboard. Hope that was informative for you and look forward to sharing some more tips about poking and other things. You can find out more about me at pro networking online written together.com and I'm on Twitter at Martin Brossman M A R T I N B R O S S M A N. Have fun and look forward to connecting with you on your poking.